Hello and welcome back to Disneyland. Believe it or not, we are getting close to the end of this series. We only have two more rides to do. Uh, one of them is Toad's Wild Ride over at Toad Hall over there. That'll be the last ride that we do. And the other one is the Small World Ride. And that's what I'm going to take you on a tour of today. And uh, it's one of my favorite rides that I've done. I would have liked to have built the entire ride right here in this toy box, right over here where it belongs. But um, <laughs> I don't have the memory available to do this. Unfortunately, my memory meter is nearly pegged in this toy box. And so I had to put this ride in its own toy box. I did put the clock tower here though as a placeholder and as a landmark to show the way to the ride. So let's go inside and check it out. I'll fast forward and meet you there in just a moment. Okay, here we are in the Small World ride. And I did my best to recreate the look of this ride because it's one of the most iconic and famous rides in the park. <laughs> You know it's something special from the moment that you see it. Both the building and the grounds around it are very elaborate and very artistic. There's lots of topiaries that are sculpted and every topiary is different. There's different ones behind us there. There's different ones over here. And there's beautiful flower beds everywhere. It's just really, really pretty. And as for the building itself, it's got lots of interconnecting shapes, all painted white and gold. And in the center is the famous clock tower, which is called a glockenspiel. And at Disneyland, the clock tower comes to life every 15 minutes. Oh, hey, <laughs> looks like we got here just in time. How cool is that? But uh, every 15 minutes or so, it comes alive with music and dolls from around the world coming out to perform briefly for the guests. And that's pretty cool. So I'm glad they built this feature into the Disney Infinity version of the clock tower. And I'm taking advantage of that here. And when you're ready to ride the ride, you come over here. And if the boat's not here, you can just push this button. And that'll summon the boat. And uh, then we just wait for it to come on down. Now, if you've never been to Disneyland or ridden this ride, what it does is take you on a little tour of the world. And every section of the ride corresponds to a different country. And, uh, oops, get up higher on the boat. And there are animatronic dolls representing children from those countries. And they all sing the same happy little song in their own native language. And it's a very catchy song. <laughs> it can get stuck in your head pretty easily. But, uh, yeah, it's just really pretty. I like how this turned out. Looks a lot like the actual Small World ride. And there's also Disney characters that are sprinkled in amongst the dolls, so it's fun to look for them. But here we are coming up on the entrance to the ride. And let's get situated here on the boat. And it's not quite the same without the music playing. I apologize for that, but um, <laughs> YouTube doesn't like when you have music playing in your clips because it adds restrictions and all kinds of crazy stuff. So it was easier just to turn it off. All right, here we come into the ride. And it's very simple scenery, as you can see, very childlike. Lots of little children dancing around. There's Belle and Gaston. Over here are the Cinderella characters. And there's uh, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Not sure why Pinocchio isn't there. He should be there. And the Frozen characters. And the Yeti back there. Mulan and Mushu. And Mary Poppins out that way. 
And over here is Aladdin and his crew. That's the Arabic display. But yeah. I just love the way this looks and it's just fun to ride it and look around. Enjoy all the scenery. Louie and Baloo. Timon and Pumbaa. I think this captured the look of the Small World ride pretty well. And the Alice in Wonderland characters here on the left. And Snow White on the right. And here we come on the Hawaiian display. We got a little guy playing a banjo over here. Got Lilo and her mom and Stitch over there. And up ahead is Merida and her parents. And for the Western display, we're using the Toy Story characters over here. But it's really, really cool. I like how this turned out. And here we come to the exit. And this takes us back out to the front of the building. A few little things to look at as we exit here. the ride pretty much. Up ahead is the gift shop and for those of you who've seen earlier versions of this in some of my earlier videos, that's new. <laughs> I just built that recently and I really wanted that gift shop in here and it took a while to figure out how to do it but I really like how that turned out. It's the Small World Toy Store and uh, you walk by there as you exit the ride. And there we go. That is the Small World ride. <laughs> so we head on out this way. This is the exit over here. And there's the toy store. And there we go. Then you go through that door to go back to Fantasyland. Oh, hey. <laughs> They're playing again. So that's my recreation of the Small World ride. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Disney Infinity toy boxes like this one. Next time, I'll start showing you how to build this iconic ride. Until then, I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.